Welcome back, Game Design students. So if you recall from our last video, everything was working, but the door was not opening. And I figured out why that is. And we know that there's a problem with the play function in our blueprint here. So the problem is that I have two door open sequences here in my scene. Why? I think it's because I was creating one for the tutorial and one for you guys. So I'm going to, um, this is the one I referenced. I referenced the incorrect one. So what I need to do is open up my level blueprint, undock it, make this smaller so I can see both of them, and then go back to the level and drag the correct reference into the blueprint by clicking the open door sequence, the one I created, in there. Now hopefully, when I give this to you, um, this will be corrected and you won't have this to worry about. After we do that, we should be able to just simply correct, connect that up, delete this one, compile, save, redock this, and play test. Need the key. Pick up the key, open the door, and there we go, success. So I'm going to drag this door open, um, door open sequence here and delete it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is spawn the particle system. And I have the particle system connected to this collision box here. So what we need to do is go back to the level blueprint. And we're going to create some code to spawn the particle system, turn it on and off when we enter that area and collect the key. I already have created a variable for you here called is trigger active. That's necessary to run this. So we need to add a collision event to this trigger volume. So select it in your world outliner and then right click and select add event on actor begin overlap. And there we have it. And we're also going to need an on actor end overlap. So right click again, add event, on actor end overlap. We now have two events that are tied to that trigger volume. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, we are going to add a branch because we need to check and see if the trigger is active. And here is the Boolean variable that I have given you. So drag that in and we're going to get it. And then connect it to the collision condition. And then we need to spawn the event. The default value for this trigger variable is true. Okay, that's important. So if the trigger variable is true, then we need to spawn the, spawn the particle system. Spawn emitter at location. And the location will be the trigger volume. And the particle system we need to spawn is the this one, KY heal aura. And then we're going to need to set the emitter reference. And we have an emitter reference right here. So we need to drag that into here and click set. The reason we need to do that is because we need to destroy that emitter. All right, so when we end the overlap, we need a delay. And I have this set to two seconds. And then we need to destroy the component, which is going to be the particle system. And that is going to be the emitter reference. And we're going to get it this time. And then we're going to set the trigger as active. And 
leave that box unchecked. And then let's compile and save and see if it works. All right, I'm just going to go collect the key. Nothing. I think I know why that is. The reason that was happening, I think, is because we need to define the location of the particle system spawn. Right now it's at zero, zero, zero. So when we collect the key, it is actually spawning. We just can't see it. So we need to fix that. So let's drag off of the location node and type in get actor location. And what actor are we locating? We are going to locate the trigger volume. So we need to undock this for a second. And find the trigger volume in the world outliner and drag it into the blueprint to create a reference. And then we can connect this up here. So now we are going to spawn the emitter at the location of the trigger volume. Let's compile, save, and play. And there you go. Now we can open the door, and all is well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.